Welcome back to the studio. I'm trying to keep an eye on my spathophyllum today. I just got it transplanted. We're going to be working on something that I'm excited to do today. Um, I recently did two videos on the mama goat. Uh, I was really excited because I found really beautiful fabric for the background of the goat. I thought matched the applique really well. And then we did the um, a daisy dot table runner on the side the same way that the office had done the sample for the wall quilt so we had that finished uh, and the two colors uh, that we used for the background and the border really fell in love with that um, I used the same fabric that I had on the border for the back now I didn't quite have enough um, I didn't plan on using it for the back, so I didn't map math that out. But what I did was just add some scrap fabric on. And that's something that I would say as just a, a bit of advice for you. If you're going to take fabric, your backing fabric, to your long armor, go ahead and make sure that it's big enough. Don't take stuff to the long armor and expect them to do all the work. Um, take some of the load off of their back and it helps them uh, get stuff onto the frame faster and get your stuff returned to you. Um, also, uh, they've got enough on their mind. So if it, the backing isn't big enough and you need to add fabric to make sure that they could use it, go ahead and do that yourself and, and give them what they need. Which is exactly what I did. So I added my own pieces on the side to bring it up to the size I need. I always add at least six to seven inches on each side because of the um, framing uh, to keep it in tension without hitting my side clamps or anything else. I already have the uh, top loaded. On this particular quilt, I don't have the very bottom of the top on the uh, leader. It's floating just on that bottom piece, uh, but it's a very small quilt, so I'm comfortable doing that. I know some people float all the time. Um, I like to have tension uh, wherever I can. Uh, the system for me works better when I can put tension wherever I can, and that reduces puckers. Um, I know some people do great without, but we all have different systems and we all have different luck doing different things, so. <clears throat> do what works for you. Um, I remember Ellie Sinkavich used to say, she used to sign in her books, your way is the best way. And in a way that's true. Whatever works for you, let that keep working. Um, today I'm going to be using isocord thread because that's almost always what I use. For some reason with my Bernina, I get a lot of lint if I use cotton thread, so I, I don't use cotton thread as often anymore. Uh, so I have isocord uh, thread in the top and bottom. Both of them match the uh, fabric that I chose, which is kind of a aqua color, very, very light aqua. And the pattern I'm going to use is kind of a whimsical pattern. It's called Whole Lot of Bubbles. And I think this is only because the size of the design is small, but the pattern is big. So it's little bubbles, but it's a big pass. So I think I'll only have like four rows to quilt. So it sh should go pretty quick as long as everything goes smoothly. So I'm just gonna move the camera and we're gonna get stitching it out and hopefully get this done fairly quickly. Um, it's kind of a gloomy day out. The sun is out, but it's cloudy. Um, so that's, it's okay. It's, not, it's getting warmer out and I like it cool, but it's all right. So, I've got another quilt to put on after this that I'm excited about. It's a Christmas quilt. I know it's weird Christmas now, but in the studio you never know what time of the year it is. It's kind of like a Schrodinger's cat. You don't know until you're in there. We're at our home screen. We're going to go design sew quilt, start new, erase work in progress, start over our clock. We're working with a pantograph. We're entering our rectangle manually, which we would have to do because it extends past our design space. And the size of this is 35 by 40. As I said, it's small. And we're gonna hit finished. 
This design is in my Urban Elements file. It's called a whole lot of bubbles. This is a 10 inch design, so that's why I went back. I just wanted to reference that. Keep that in mind. I'm touching the gap button and I'm just eliminating the gap between the design. And now I'm going to touch my row height, but which is what we are able to adjust. Right now it's at 12 but it's my pattern height that I really want to get to. It's at 15. I want to get that 15 down to 10. So I've got it at 10.025, which is about as close as I'm going to get it. So I'm going to hit finished. Uh, transition type is continuous. I'm going to hit accept. And now I'm ready to sew just that quick. I'm going to hit sew quilt. I'm doing panto sequencing so that I could do the whole quilt. I'm going to alternate the rows. I'm going to tie off in between rows. Do the whole quilt. Sew quilt. And it's going to go to its very first uh, section and it did my first stitch so I can pull up the thread and I have to put it on manual. did the top little tiny row that just had a couple bubbles and then we were able to get two complete passes before I had to do a roll up and a realignment. So now we're on technically on our roll number or uh, row number four. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start. six minutes total right now we only have about 18 minutes left so on a small project like this the digital quilting is going to be really uh, take a big chunk out of it
Hmm. Well, that was pretty quick. It was only 36 minutes to do this. I really like the whole lot of bubbles, but I would say uh, circles like this are really better served on a digital uh, platform. It's really hard to do these freehand in a Panto system um, without them looking uh, ill-shapen. Um, but the digital, they're magic. Love the uh, texture that this gives it. And I know some people on the applique really love the uh, clear or smoke um, poly thread. But I don't mind using um, low contrast thread. I don't even see it on the applique. When I look at it, it completely blends in. And so I'm totally cool with it. I chose a really low contrast. Um, and so either on the uh, darker border or the background, all I really see is the texture. So this is another one down for the books. I'm excited to have this finished. This will be another cute thing to hang on the wall. I love the color pop on this. <clears throat> I really like it a lot better on this teal than I did on the gray. Uh, it looks good on the gray, but I really like the color. So I'm uh, all ready to get this uh, over to my friend to get the binding on it and get the video into the computer and get this edited and uploaded onto the uh, system. And I already have another top ready to get loaded on the frame today. <clears throat> so thanks for spending a little bit of time with me this afternoon. Afternoon for me. Um, and I look forward to seeing you again next time here in the studio. Until then, take care of yourself and take care of each other.